and welcome to the third edition of the Architects Updates. We've been and seen a modern extension with the full range of warm core products. We then went and saw a brand new build with the Masterdoor Craftsman extensive range. And now I'm here in the rain in the beautiful Nottinghamshire countryside to see Cindy with her fantastic twist on a farmhouse. Firstly, Cindy, I mean, wow. What an incredible house you have. From the moment that I drove up outside and then just having a look around, it's got the most amazing feel to it. It's so homely, but yet it's got that kind of old and new kind of merged in. I mean, it, you've done such a stunning job. What was it like when you first moved in? Well, this was a very dark room. It was used as a living room. Uh, there were very few windows in here. It was incredibly dark, incredibly cold, a lot of old brickwork on display. Um, and we just came into the room and thought, wow, this should be the kitchen. The last major job that you did with your rolling programme has been the windows and doors. And so did you go to different suppliers and, and do your research and kind of find out what the best products were on the market, what was going to work out for you guys? Yes, we did, we did, because it was such a major expense um, that we needed to make sure we did it properly. So why specifically go for, for the Sintil group? Because the, the product was so great, it did exactly what we wanted it to do, which was to, the look of the product was right, the vertical sliders are amazing. For a house like this that would have had vertical sliders originally, uh, it, was, it just felt right to put them back, but in a modern way. So we've got the UPVC with the wood effect finish, so from the outside they look exactly like they should look. We went for the wood effect finish on the inside as well. So we have the cream outside and we have the white inside, uh, which to the untrained eye just looks like a wooden window and they're fantastic. And they're easy to clean. They are easy to clean <laughs> and we wanted as high a standard of uh, insulation as we could get as well. The previous windows were double glazed but the gap was very very narrow so they weren't really doing that much good. And have you seen that? The house is always always comfortably warm and also it's quiet you know the wind's whistling out there now and you can't hear it it's very very well insulated. The colour palette um, overall for the windows and doors how did you find that? Oh it was it was great uh, so we've had cream all the way through, the French doors are cream as well. So we've got a very flowing scheme with that. We've obviously got the dark grey bifolds and then the doors that we've gone for. We had the Devonshire blue, which we absolutely loved. Just being sat in this room and looking at the bifold doors, what was the reason that you chose these doors? We like the design, we like the simplicity of it. The opening of the doors is really simple because obviously you've got three panels that fold up and it needs to be an easy operation. Um, and one interesting thing, which was actually one of the reasons that we chose this particular brand of door, was the fact that the door handle's been designed so that when the door concertinas up, it concertinas together. And one company, we looked at their product and the door handle got in the way. So you, you had this beautiful closing together of the first two panels and the third panel stuck out at an angle which I thought was quite odd. And these doors don't have that, these doors do fold up the door handle slightly shaped so that it fits into the, the, the design of the door. So that makes it all fit together very neatly. Now my favourite front door with your Devonshire blue at the, at the front of the property, the Masador Craftsman, why did you go for that? We wanted a really, really beautiful front door. Our front door before was not great, it was you know just quite ordinary and we saw a picture and it reminded me of the door of 10 Downing Street and I just love that it's got it's got it doesn't have a door handle it has the knob and it has a, a finger pull and a letterbox so it's very very simple very stylish we we actually looked at the construction of the door before we went ahead and bought it and it's incredibly well built. You went to the factory? Yes, we did. We went and looked at the, the product and it, uh, we saw a, a, a profile of the door and it's solid inside, solid wood. So, and 
What's interesting about the doors, actually I found fascinating, a lot of doors that have profiling on them, it's cut in, into the door, whereas this is, the profile is, is on the surface of the door. So you have the same thickness all the way through, plus extra. Whereas a lot of doors you have the thickness and then it's thinner where the profiling is. So we really like that aspect of it. Well, it's perfect for security, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. You get a really satisfying clunk when the door closes. It's lovely. You know, when you take on a job like this, it's really quite scary because you hear so many horror stories. There are so many products that aren't up to standard. There are so many fitting companies that aren't up to standard. And we were very lucky. The product was amazing and the company that fitted them were brilliant. So you'd recommend Sincere Group? Without hesitation. <laughs>